Hey guys, even here and we're starting this video with a little incident that occurred over there in Kuwait in the oxygen gym and yeah, this is Brandon Curry right here. So he had an accident. So he was doing some triceps and he pulled the machine a little bit too hard because he's getting too heavy and too strong. <laughs> Whatever the reason is, he pulled this machine a little bit too hard and it fell on him. It fell on his head and uh, he basically has no consequences, no serious ones but he had a minor bruise on his head and he scratched his finger a little so nothing serious, he's fine, his health is fine, he's not out of Mr. Olympia or something like that it was just a minor incident, minor accident, nothing too serious it's more embarrassing really, as he says, than it is serious right here he is explaining what actually happened, you can check it out on his Instagram account but basically he says that there are no serious consequences, that he has a bruise on his head, a little cut on his finger, and then he goes on, he rants about how you should be grateful for everything that you have right now, that uh, tomorrow is not guaranteed. He's talking about it like he had a near-death experience, but that's not really what happened. It was just a stupid accident in the gym, it was more embarrassing really. So as you can see, thankfully it's only his finger that got hurt and a little bruise on his head, but thankfully he is not out of Mr. Olympia, don't you worry guys, he will be there of course, he will probably win the show, he is looking great, he is feeling great and uh, this is just a minor, minor small accident. It did scare me a little and it was also funny for me, I don't know about you guys, but if I'm gonna be honest, it was a little bit funny for me. Anyways, I was scared, I was scared because I am expecting Brandon to win this Mr. Olympia and to give us a really good show. And I'm sure that's gonna happen now that I know that this accident is non-consequential. As you can see right here, I mean, I showed you this photo before, it's most recent Brandon Curry update. It just looks amazing, amazing really, I mean, he's full, he's symmetrical, he's complete, now he's complete, his legs are also looking awesome. Look at the symmetry of his abs, of his shoulders, of his arms, chest, legs as well. I mean, just, just beautiful symmetry, beautiful lines, fullness, thickness, you name it, everything is there. And this, in my opinion, is your 2019 Mr. Olympia. Alright, so the next thing I want to talk about is Sean Roden with his quote-unquote physique update. Now, I'm sure many of you will say this is an old video, it's not recent, it's not his current physique. But I think it is. I think so, because, I mean, you can see him training very, very hard every single day. And he said that he keeps prepping for the Mr. Olympia. Right now, we are less than 10 days out of Mr. Olympia. So if he was really prepping for it, he should be ready at this point. And uh, this right now, this physique right here, I guess it does look uh, ready for the stage. I don't know, these guys do these crazy protocols uh, last week or so, and they get dry really quick. But basically, I think this is show ready, and it's really a shame that he cannot defend his title this year. Would he win it against Brandon and Rolly? I don't think so. I really don't think so. But is it a possibility with these legs, with these legs right here? Sure, sure it's a possibility, but it's probably not gonna happen, unfortunately. AMI doesn't wanna allow it. Sean Roden was never known as the most muscular, the most freaky guy out there. He was always known for having those beautiful lines, beautiful symmetry, uh, good completeness, you know. He's not super impressive pretty much in any single body part. You can say that his glutes and his quads are very, very good, but other than that, not much really. But he was complete. And he knows how to get shredded, but like really, really shredded. In 2018, he was peeled to the bone. And we expected him to battle against guys like Rolly Winkler and Brandon Curry. So basically we would see conditioning and lines against mass monsters. So it would be an interesting battle for sure and uh, who knows who would win it. Sean Roden at his best against Brandon Curry at his best and uh, Rolly Winkler at his best. That truly would be an epic battle, but unfortunately we're not gonna see it. This year, not gonna see many of the top guys, maybe next year, maybe next year though, but uh, Sean Norton this year is out of Mr. Olympia, and uh, we have something that we had in 1992 when uh, Lee Haney retired and uh, left Mr. Olympia without the defending champion, so that Sandal Trophy was up for the grabs, same thing happened in 1998 when Dorian retired and uh, there was nobody defending the title, this year it's the same thing, 
We don't have the current champion, Sean Roden, and we don't have seven times Mr. Olympia prior to Sean Roden. Phil Hito defended, so anybody can win it. There is no defending champion, and I'm betting on Brandon Curry. Since I mentioned that 1998 Mr. Olympia, that was uh, without a defending champion, the guy who actually won it was this guy right here, Ronnie Coleman. And this is him right now, today in 2019, with another uh, training uh, video uploaded. And again, we can keep speculating, should he keep training, should he just give up on training and uh, pff, we can just talk about it for days like we did many times before. But what is most important is that Ronnie is doing what he loves the most and that is training. He's training and he doesn't care about what we think. He enjoys it and uh, he is bodybuilding. He is the ultimate bodybuilder and he was so devoted that he didn't know when to quit. He didn't know when to retire. And even today, he doesn't know how to quit. He cannot stop training. He loves that so much and he has a lot of respect from me because of that. He loves his bodybuilding. And so does this man right here, Jim Arrington, who is 87 years old and the oldest bodybuilder alive. He was 83 in 2015, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, he was competing in Venice Beach when he got his award for the oldest bodybuilder alive. And today he's celebrating his 87th birthday. I'm sure he's still training, but these photos are from a couple of years ago when he was still competing. Imagine that, being almost 90, actually closer to 80, but still 83 and competing. Wow, that, that's a huge respect. That's a huge respect. I'm hoping to be like this when I'm 50. This guy is actually 87 today and these shots were taken when he was 83. So for an 83 year old, he looks amazing and I wish him happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jim Arrington. Next for you guys, I have this transformation photo of uh, nobody else but Stanimal, who is the training partner of uh, Sean Roden, who is trained by Charles Glass and that's the same crew pretty much. As you guys may know, I already made a video about this. Basically, Stanimal is not gonna compete in Classic Physique anymore. This year is his last year in Classic Physique division. Next year, he's transferring to the Open class. Here, on this photo, you can see a huge transformation. I mean, sure, he's posing a little bit differently on the right photo, but he definitely does look much bigger, much denser. And year after year, this guy is getting bigger and he's adding quality to his muscle. He looks much better year after year and he's super focused. I love his determination, his passion for the sport. He really trains super hard. He leaves no stone unturned and he's making progress year after year. Seriously, this guy, this guy is going to be something big in the future. I have no doubts because he's really focused. If everything goes well for him, I'm sure we're going to see him being one of the top guys one day. And here is another classic physique, guys, that's Alex Cambronero. He was second at the New York Pro behind Keon Pearson. He was angry about that. I mean, he threw his trophy against the wall. That's what I heard in the backstage. He destroyed his trophy. He thought he deserved that victory. I don't think he did. I mean, he was very good and it was very close, but I would still go with Kian rather than with him. But here you can see his most recent physique update and damn, he looks huge. Look at those arms. Look at those arms and those bellies of his quads, of his hamstrings. I mean, especially his arms and his chest, everything. Everything, really. This guy is super full. He looks more like an open-class bodybuilder than like a classic physique guy. I mean, let's be real. But he is a classic physique guy. I think he won another show after New York or he qualified based on points. I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty sure he's competing at the Mr. Olympia and this guy is going to make some damage. What do you guys think? How well will he do? And the very last thing that I'm going to talk about in this video is this woman right here. Her name is Margie Marvelous. I already made a video about her. If you want to learn more about her, check the video out. But this was her when she started her transformation. So pay attention how she looks right now in this video right here. She looks like another woman, right? She looks like another chubby, a little bit chubby woman. Her waist is not very small. Her arms are kind of big, but they mostly look fat. Um, everything pretty much doesn't look like she's even lifting. She looks like an ordinary woman, just another a little bit fatter woman, right? And let me show you what she actually became later on. It is, it is insane. It's crazy. Boom. Damn. Look at this. Look at this and admire it. I don't know how was she able to do this. 
this must be some insane genetics, insane genetics. I don't think there are many men that could do this with any kind of devotion and determination and with any kind of cycles or whatever. It's really insane what she was able to accomplish and she's a woman, she's a woman guys, can you believe this? This right here is actually one of the craziest bodybuilding transformations that I've ever seen and it is done by a woman. I mean women they don't have a lot of testosterone in their bodies and testosterone is the main hormone responsible for growth. And it doesn't really matter how much gear you use because if you are naturally low on testosterone you are not gonna get the levels of testosterone like Ronnie Coleman or Dallas McCarver or Jay Cutler or whatever. These guys are freaks because their hormones are insane. That's one of the reasons. And this woman is a woman. <laughs> so it's crazy how much muscle she was able to make. It's just outstanding. I'm really impressed. What do you guys think? Tell me down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. And if you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do. Subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.